Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to install every mod you want on GTA San Andreas for Mac. Okay, first you go to this website, I put the download links in the description and download a program called Crossover. Download it only from this website because it's the correct version and normally it costs uh, $69. Okay, when you download that it, it looks like this here. You need this program to open exe files. Okay, then you go to this website and download LC's IMG editor 1.5 final. This program is a exe file and that's why you need crossover. And this IMG editor is better than the other ones because with this one you can put more than one file at the same time in the GTA 3.img. Okay, after you have downloaded it, it looks like this and you got some files called MINGWM10.dll and settings.ini and stuff like that. Don't delay it because when you delay them you can't open LC's IMG editor. Okay, now you have to download a program called Anora X. With this program you can Anora bar files. Okay. After you download it fuck uh, you it looks like this. Okay. Then download a mod you want. I've found a weapon mod. So I take the Ranger from Modern Warfare 2. Now it shows you a file called soundoff.dff and soundoff.txd. The diff this file you fuck sorry. You have to replace these files with the original file. files, they have the same name. Okay, now open your LC's IMG editor, drag it to crossover and now you have to wait 30 seconds. Okay, now here's the, fuck, the LC's IMG editor. Now click on file, open and then search for your GTA San Andreas. Then click on contents, resources, trans gaming, C drive, rockstar games, GTA San Andreas, then models and then just read the readme. There are they say if you have to replace files in GTA 3 .img, player.img, cutscene.img or gta int.emj. Normally buildings, weapons and maps are for gta 3.img, clothes or haircuts are for player.img. Now open gta 3.img now I open this gta3.img because I want to replace a weapon. Now it loads. You have to wait. Okay, now you have this list. You don't have to search for the original files. That's the best thing about the LC's IMG editor. Okay, now click on Actions and then Import, remove if exists. Click that. 
and then search for your mod. Okay, now click on that mod you want to replace. Oh. Okay, now you here are the mod files: the son of .dff and the son of .txt. Okay, click on it. Pre press and hold shift and then click on the other that's the way you can put more than one file at the same time in the uh, sorry uh, that's the way you can replace more than one file at the same time okay now I I have chosen them and then I click open so now that's very important click on rebuild okay why it's loading I'm gonna show you how to install Cleo mods for GTA San Andreas okay for this website I'll show you the link in the description too When you are on the website, click in the left corner, Cleo 4 library, then you then it installs. Okay, I've already installed it. Okay, good. Now you have the Cleo 4 setup. Dot exe okay drag it to cross over when you are ready with this I'm not ready with this so I won't do it okay okay now it's ready and I can close it now I'm gonna install the Cleo for setup okay drag it to cross over Okay, now it shows you this. Just leave it like it is. Click next, and then you, you have to choose your GTA San Andreas folder. Click on browse, then when you are, have installed your GTA San Andreas in applications, just like me, click on this symbol icon. Then applications, GTA San Andreas app, contents, resources, trans gaming, C drive, Rockstar games, and then click only one time at GTA San Andreas. Okay, click on OK, then next. Just type in a letter. Uh, or a word that's not important click on next then it shows you this error uh, three times just click on ignore it will install it that's not that's just bullshit just click on ignore you will have the clue for older it that's not important okay I'll not continue because I've already installed Clio 4. Okay. Okay. Now I show you where the folder with the Clio is. Okay. Then I have to search for my GTX Andreas again. Apps, GTX Andreas, show package content, contents, resources. Trends Gaming, C Drive, Rockstar Games, GJ San Andreas. Okay, you have now a folder called Clio. And there are. Uh, there's, uh, there are some other folders in it. Okay, now I show you how to install a Clio mod. 
OK， 所、so, 以 I take the cave demons mod from my partner the silent soul. OK， now open it with Anra X. Okay, now I have the folder. Then I just okay. Now I have the folder. So here's also a readme. Read the readme every time. It shows you the way how to install the module. You you've just downloaded it. Okay, now I have the mod. Then it shows me. Models and then GTA. Dot IMG. You know,、uh, it's GTA three. Dot IMG. That's a mistake the script of this mod has made. Okay. Okay. Now you have these files. Then you have to open LC's IMG editor again. Okay. Um, then just click again on file, open. What the fuck is this? And then GTA three dot IMG. Then just click again.、Uh, just just click on actions and then import. Oh no no.、Uh, actions import remove if exists. So then, go where the mod is. Okay. Then yeah, mod models detail. Okay. Then click it. Then again shift and then click the other one. Open. Rebuild. Okay. Now, now this. Jewelry. There are only some pictures of the mod. You can delete it if you want. They are not important. Okay. Then you have here in this Clio folder are the files you have to put in your Clio folder. Okay. Here is one file you have to put in the Clio folder. And here. Yeah. And yeah. And here is a folder called Clio. Text. In this folder is a file you have to put in the Clio text folder, which is in your Clio folder. Okay,、uh, I show it to you now. Look, you have here in your GTA San Andreas folder is the Clio folder. Then、uh, just drag the file in it. And then the file you have to put in Clio Text. Open your Clio Text, and put the file in it. Ah、oh, fuck. Okay. I think that's yeah. That's all. Now you just have to wait. If the rebuilding is finished, it takes a while. So I say it again. I put some good websites in the description with the best details and various mods. Okay, that's all. This is the end of my tutorial. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'll answer every question. Ah, fuck my English. Okay. Okay. Leave a comment and rate my video. Bye.